so hello friends so i'll be just uploading certain images that have been collated or archived from my own unit uh, into the website uh, so that it is of some benefit for candidates giving exams to glance through all these images so one of my uh, dnb trainees has suggested we do this as an interaction so you so in the video you will see my colleagues my trainees uh, discussing what the image might be and then we'll talk about uh, what exactly the image shows so all my dnb trainees are sitting with me so i'm going to ask them when i show the image so these are all simple run of the mill images that we would be seeing day in and day out in icu and uh, and and what these images really depicts is what i may later on show as an answer so, so this is a 26 year old lady uh, this is our own patient in our own unit with sle with apla uh, who was on anticoagulation for uh, cortical venous thrombosis developed uh, acute abdominal pain uh, abdominal pain and this was the ct of the abdomen obviously she had abdominal pain you do have ct abdomen so I'll ask my DNB trainee, Dr. Ronak, so what does he think this uh, CT shows? What what structure is it showing and what abnormality is it showing? This is CT of the uh, abdomen, the liver is seen uh, and then there is some splenic, uh, uh, splenic uh, a change in the uh, echo texture, in the texture of the spleen, sir. So it but are you really seeing the spleen? Okay, so let me ask uh, another DNP trainee, uh, Dr. Abila. So, Abila, uh, what do you see? Or any any other trainees who are with me, Dr. Uh, Marutesh is there, Dr. Karthik uh, uh, Ravikanti is there, Dr. Ajmal are there. Anyone can take, then I'll move to the next slide. What it shows. You could see the free flow down the reverse. Is this free flow? It is, there is a continuous, is it? There is hypodensity here. Yes. And what do you see here? So this is a contrast, isn't it? So you are seeing something. Blush. What is this? There's see, there is an art. There is a vessel. We'll call it as a vessel. Then there is a hypodensity. Here. So there is a thrombus. Oh. So it is a portal vein thrombosis. What this patient had, and this is the infarct that she has. So there is a hypodensity in the liver. So this is the portal vein, and you are seeing a portal vein thrombosis. So that's a thrombosis. Okay. So this is also the whole thrombus. The whole vein is thrombosed. So right portal vein thrombosis this one mm -hmm. okay so so this see here this whole thing is thrombus here mm -hmm. right okay so ronak are you able to see there is a thrombus here so this is a contrast so here you see a thrombus so that is a superior mesenteric vein thrombus mm -hmm. So this patient had a ischemic ball with SMB thrombosis and right portal vein thrombosis. So Dr. Ronak, can you see all the structures here? So this is a pancreas. So here there is a thrombus. What what do you think is this? SMA territory. This was an SMA, superior mesenteric vein thrombosis. So this is a splenic vein thrombosis. So this has this images so I, I have to confess that none of us here are radiologists but we have discussed the scans with our radiology team and these were the uh, knowledge points that we gained from them so this is the splenic vein thrombosis i'll go through this again for the audience so this is a right portal vein thrombosis that's again a portal vein thrombosis that says smb superior mesenteric vein thrombosis and this is a splenic vein thrombosis right okay so now this is a simple x-ray uh, so the background is this is a young patient see if you see the age it's only 20 years old male who came with hemoptysis with acute kidney injury and he's had history of recurrent sinusitis so the answer lies in the scenario that i'm giving and he has a so i'll ask our dnb trainee dr ajmal here uh, so ajmal can you see what the image shows he is a 20 year old who is come with hemoptysis with acute kidney injury with a recurrent sinusitis. Possibly renal pulmonary syndrome. So, so first thing is you have to see the most striking thing here. What you see is a nice solitary opacity. 
it's a solitary nodule what you say and you, then you have to come out with a differential for solitary nodule so so there are a list of differentials for solitary nodules so this was the Wegener's Wegener's granulomatosis so this patient had Wegener's he was on dialysis he had extensive hemoptysis he was intubated and uh, this was a very malignant sort of a Wegener's he underwent cyclophosphamide plasma exchange all sorts of works so, but it's an interesting X-ray and then the X-ray later on evolved into involving bilateral lungs. But this is a typical solitary nodule that you see which later became more confluent. See this? this is a, and you can see one more here which is evolving but this is a very typical of solitary nodule. Okay, Dr. Marutesh. So, this was a patient. Marutesh is our other trainee in intensive care. Uh, so, this was a patient uh, around 60 year old female who came with acute abdomen with abdominal distension with severe pain, tenderness and uh, this was the CT done for her because and she came in shock. She was, uh, so the clue I would give is she was immediately taken up for laparotomy. So, why she was taken up for this was CT. What do you think Marutesh this CT shows? Okay, see, so you see a lot of air, it's a pneumoperitoneum. So, there's a lot of air in the abdomen cavity, it's a pneumoperitoneum. So, I'll show you different. See, this whole thing is air. So, this is not communicating with any bubbles. So, this is independent air within the, see, this whole thing is air. So, it's a pneumoperitoneum. See this, see, these are all the other abdominal structures and you have this nice big air containing cavity going right through. Mm -hmm. Sorry, she's a little elderly, 71. See this? Cool thing. See, these are all bubble loops. So, this is the air, more peritoneum. Oh, sorry, this is a different patient. Uh, so, this is a patient which, anyway, you saw the answer. So, this was a case who came with again septic shock, with uh, septic shock, who came with uh, symptoms of urine, UTI. So, there was a CT done. So you would see this, there is a pyelonephritis. So the left sided kidney is quite big as you see compared to the right side. So this was an acute pyelonephritis who underwent digestenting to remove the pus for this patient. See this, there is a, the whole corticomedullary differentiation is sort of uh, obliterated and there is a huge kidney here on the left side. You can appreciate it better here. Okay. Okay, Dr. Ronak, so this is a patient who came with altered sensorium and with headache. So this is a uh, around 40 to 44 year old uh, female who came with a headache CVT with altered CVT. sensorium. So how, how do you say it is CVT? What sort of CVT is this? You are right, you are absolutely right. So, so this was a sagittal sinus, empty delta sign. I think this you would see this here better. So, can you show where uh, your sagittal sinuses come, uh, Ronak, in the marker here? Okay, so that's a, which is superior sagittal sinus? This one, under the bone. Okay, so that is superior sagittal sinus. Here is, this is the sagittal sinus. See, here you see the thrombus sitting here. And transverse sinus comes here, here. And then sir, sigmoid sinus comes here. That's inferior, no, sir? Inferior. Mm -hmm. This is sagittal, this is superior sagittal, this is sagittal sinus, transverse sinus comes here and sigmoid. So, here there is a sagittal sinus thrombosis and transverse sinus also. So, you can appreciate maybe a small one. So, Ronak, what is this? This typically we ask you in exams. So, this is an empty delta sign mm -hmm. consistent with superior sagittal sinus thrombosis. Okay, thank you. So, I will be uploading more images subsequently just for our trainees to glance through different images. So, there are at least hundreds of images which I have archived. So, I will take you through different sessions of this. Thank you all.